When Dobby the house elf, the buildable figure, was revealed, the reception was pretty fun to take note of. Most of the comments I saw read something like, Wow, that could have been a lot worse. And that's kind of how I feel about this model too. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at the not scary, but actually kind of cute Dobby. This set was sent to me early to review by the LEGO group, but you can pick yours up starting on June 1st. This is set number 76421, Dobby the House Health. He has 403 pieces and retails for $34.99 here in the US. Now, rumors for a brick-built Dobby have been circulating for some time. We all love Dobby, but especially his Chamber of Secrets appearance. Whoops. But especially his Chamber of Secrets appearance, you know, it was... What year was that? 2002, I suppose. And Dobby was a little, you know, scary. And I think that's just part of who he is, too. It played into his character very well. Harry goes up to his room one day, and there's this very strange-looking creature. They really cutesified him up for his appearance in Deathly Hallows Part 1, though, I will say. Dobby is a free elf. There were a lot of ways to go about making a model like this, and the designer, George Gilead, I think went the perfect route. Instead of embracing a completely film-accurate look for Dobby, Gilead decided to make more of a caricature of the character, and it works perfectly. The buildable figure here reads a lot more as two-dimensional than anything else, and I think it really works in his favor. Rounding out those angles, making Dobby of much more simpler shapes, help smooth out what otherwise could have been a really freaky looking character. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, you're gonna love this. This is cute. So there's pretty limited articulation going on here. We have ball joints in the arms. Of course, you'll note that they have not been recolored yet. That would have been an interesting first recolor though. Imagine flesh ball joints before, you know, anything else, but they're still the regular gray. You've got those creepy fingers. That's no fault of Dobby's. It's just a creepy Lego element, uh, but they're used here in flesh and you got some wrist action too. The head is also on a ball joint, which has been recolored in flesh colors, which is pretty awesome. If we take Dobby off the stand, which is easy enough to do, he's just connected by a few studs there, but the feet can angle out too, and that's about it. He's a very sturdy character because of his limited mobility, and I think as a display piece, that's all right. I mean, the display stand is quite nice. We'll take a look at it here. So unfortunately, that Dobby decal is a sticker, not a print, but the simplistic, completely round, very clean base works really well for me without eating up a whole lot of pieces. You also can move the ears, but I mean, it kind of ends up looking a, a little off. The mouth and eyes on the character are prints, which are fantastic. So some of these light flesh pieces we've seen before in sets like the Boutique Hotel and the buildable Hermione and Harry minifigures, but there are probably a lot of brand new recolors in this set, which is fantastic. There are two side builds included here. We've got the giant pudding, which is just here to eat up parts budget, I would assume. Uh, it looks nice. You get some good colors in there with the light lavender and the yellowish green, but uh, other than that, <laughs> it just feels like it was eating up space. If this had been replaced with like an exclusive Dobby minifigure, I think that would have gotten a lot of people more excited. There also is, and this is kind of fun, the diary, Tom Riddle's diary. And there's a sticker on the front that reads Tom Marvel a Riddle, which is great. And also the stab wound. And on the inside is the UCS Dobby's sock. Truly incredible. We live in a wonderful time. Much like Expecto Patronum, it's another simple display set but this one works really well for me. It's interesting to note that this is actually the cheapest set of the Harry Potter Summer Way at $35, which is uh, not an insignificant amount of money. You kind of get your money's worth here, but I, want, I have to wonder if at some point Dobby was scaled down uh, significantly and these side builds were added later on. This set without the pudding for like 30 or maybe even 25 bucks would have been perfect. But yeah, I like this little guy. I'm very impressed. This was a bold project to take on and George Gilliatt knocked it out of the park. So thank you for giving us this really cute rendition of the character. I think this guy's going on my desk. Anyway, have yourself a fantastic life. Be sure to check out all the other Summer Harry Potter reviews that I uploaded today and I'll see you later.